let's solve part C now. So how large is the difference in welfare between the efficient outcome and the outcome under private provision? First of all, what is the welfare here? What are we comparing? Since we're speaking about consumers that get utility from a good, then we're speaking about consumer surplus, the benefit to the consumers. Now, can we speak about anything related to production, to producer surplus? No, because we're not selling, on the, we're not selling anything on the market. We would have producer surplus if we would have some markup above the marginal cost. So in other words, we want to compare the consumer surplus under the social optimum relative to the consumer surplus under the private production. So under the social, under the social optimal, we saw that we have an actual number of snow plowing. That's four over three. And we know that the consumer surplus is the area below the marginal utility graph and the marginal cost. So this would be the consumer surplus, just like we used to have consumer surplus with demand for products. The demand also is showing the marginal benefit that people get from that product. In our case, the marginal utility is the same as the marginal benefit. So the consumer surplus has the same analogy. Now, what is the consumer surplus over here? We can calculate the consumer surplus is going to be the area of this triangle under the social optimal, which is a half times the height. The height is 12, sorry, 20 minus 16, which is four times the length and the length is four over three. So times four over three. Now let's work out this math real quick. Four and two cancel out. So we're left with two times four over three. That's eight over three. That's going to be our consumer surplus. Now, what is the consumer surplus under private provision? Well, under private provision, we discussed that the marginal cost is exceeding the maximum willingness to pay. So there is zero snow plowing. There is no benefit from the snow plow, meaning there's also no consumer surplus. So we're literally comparing two outcomes. We're comparing a consumer surplus under social provision of eight over three versus zero. So that's going to be the difference. Eight over three minus zero gives us a difference in welfare equals to eight over three. And that's going to be our answer. And we are done.